So I'm Boniface Ndong, uh, I come from Senegal and I play for Unicaja Malaga. Boniface, first of all, uh, congratulations, belated congratulations on being the most valuable player of the FIBA Africa Championship. That was quite an honor for you back, when was it, 2005? Five, yes, yes. Oh, thank you, yes, yes. It was uh, an honor first for me playing for my team, uh, playing for my country, and of course being, uh, uh, being the MVP was, was very special, you know, it didn't happen for Senegalese players since 97. And uh, it was good, you know, we, we did great and uh, we qualified for the World Championship, so it was an honor for me and for my country. But what is it about Senegal that really does a great job of producing great basketball players? Uh, I think, first, we're all tall. <laughs> it might be the thing, but, you know, the basketball has been a tradition in Senegal for quite a, a long and you know, a lot of kids are involved in basketball because they got some reference, you know, like guys that went to the States, guys that play over here in Europe. So basketball has been a tradition for, you know, quite the last past 30 years maybe. And that's why a lot of young people are involved, besides being tall, you know, but they, they mostly like, like the game of basketball. Can we, expect to, can we expect to see you play with Senegal again, or do you think that your national team career is over? No, it's not over. I, I've been speaking to people. I've talked to the, our coach about three weeks ago. I talked to Gallo, the, the general manager, who was here about maybe when we played against uh, Olympiacos, he was mm. here. And, uh, you know, we're still talking about, you know, uh, coming back because I want to give it a last shot, you know, uh, try to win it because uh, it would be sad, you know, for my career if I end up not winning the African Championship. So I, I hope, you know, our federation and uh, our government will do something, you know, to, to get first to coach and then, uh, you know, try to, to get all the players around. I've been talking to a lot, like Malay and uh, Sidafa and Dos so everybody. So they're all ready to come, but, you know, we always have the same problem, you know, organization problem. So, but if these things are met, you know, I'll be there this, this year in, in Libya. Is this what happened when you didn't go to the FIBA World Championship? It was organizational yes, problems? Yes, yes, organization problem because, you know, they can never have a set plan. You know, we have to plan for our summer, you know, but they always change their plans in the last minute. And, you know, I always tell them, I, I cannot, you know, work with that. You know, I need to have a set plan because I, I have other things to do. I have workout to do. I have, you know, take care of my career, you know, take care of my family. There's a lot of things to do, you know, but I need a plan from them before. You know, so I can set, you know, the, the timing, but I cannot plan vacation for me from family and change it the last minute. This are thing, you know, right now is it's not acceptable if you want something, you know, but uh, sure. they, they never, they never change. And, you know, I'm still hoping that we change and I, I really want to go, you know, and I know a lot of players want to go and, uh, you know, try to give the last shot. You know, even the coach want to go, you know, he, he told me last week or two weeks ago. He will negotiate with the government, you know, even not taking all the money they own him. But he really want to go, you know, because I think we still have a you know, shot. Wonderful. Real quickly about Unicaja Malaga, you, you found yourself here with a great team in Spain. Um, is this a team that can win titles this year? And, and how are things going right now? Yeah, things are going right. You know, we had a little slowdown, you know, uh, end of uh, 2008. You know, we lost two games in ACB. But I think till now we, we're doing great, you know. We had, for example, a lot of injuries a month ago. And we, we caught it very good, you know, we won some important games like in, in Maccabi. So I think this is a team that can win something, you know, this year, starting with the, the King Cup, you know. Uh, we will work hard and, you know, we, we have, we know, sorry, that uh, you, all, you never have, you know, you don't always have a chance, you know, to, to win something. And I think this year is the, the year we, we have to win something and I really believe in it. And, uh, you know, we will work hard for it. Well, Bonifacio, say something real quickly in Senegalese to your people, to your friends and friends back home. Uh, Mangli de nuit et nuit pour Sénégal, donc euh, j'espère que y en a nuit rare et bon, n'a nuit euh, à Nébi pour j'aime euh, gagner le championnat d'Afrique. Merci. Good luck the rest of the season, Bonifacio. Thank you very much.